All right, everybody, welcome back to Full Circle with Joyce. This is our second hour. If you're just joining us, Karibu Nisana, we started at 8 a.m. And, uh, of course, we had all sorts of good stuff in the first hour. And now we jump into our lifestyle hour, today being Relationship Tuesday. And uh, as I did mention, today we want to talk about young, godly marriages. It almost seems like um, an oxymoron, finding those two words together, young, godly or even those three young godly and married <laughs> it's seeming like quite a rarity nowadays uh, but we're going to be talking to one such couple and they're going to be sharing their experience with us and later on in the show we'll be talking about the do's and don'ts of relationships carrying on that conversation from last week uh, lots of comments and feedback on that so do keep them coming to double two triple nine and also on our social media platforms at switch tv kenya on facebook and twitter and at switch tv ke on instagram with that said, let's get started with our inspirational word for the day. It says, aim to make a difference in someone's life every single day, including your own. All right. Aim to make a difference in someone's life every single day, including your own. And that's by Do or Doi Zantamata. So Doi Zantamata. All right. Indeed, certainly. You know, this goes back to, I guess, goals and purposes in life. You know, are you just living for your own selfish ambition or have you purpose? Have you desired to actually be impactful to the people around you to make a difference in their lives as well? But I also like how it touches in your own life as well. What are the things that you're doing that are improving you as a to, be, to become a better person? Are you actually working on yourself, uh, trying to deal with your weaknesses, to work on you know, the low points in your life? What are you actually doing about that? Hopefully every single day, you're actually trying to make a difference, not only in other people's lives, but also in your own. All right, with that said, let me introduce my guests this hour. Uh, with me, I have Curtis and Soila Wamalwa, uh, young, godly, Married right. couple. Yes. Wow. Karibu <laughs> Sana to the show. Thank you. You're both content creators. Yes. And of course, we had Curtis here with us last week. He was talking about the do's and the don'ts of relationships. I don't know if you got to watch, hopefully... You corrected him if he said anything <laughs> I weird. I did. <laughs> but he didn't say anything off. He didn't say anything <laughs> Yeah, off. he was correct. Good. Point on. <laughs> Good stuff. All right. So Curtis and Soila are a young YouTube couple who are married. Okay. They're both content creators and they talk about relationships and lifestyle on their online platform. Today, they're in studio with us and they'll be sharing a bit about their journey, um, particularly into having a godly marriage. As I did mentioned though those three words it's almost so rare to find them nowadays it's like if you find them you're like oh you need a trophy <laughs> no it's true Do you guys find that perception as well uh yes uh especially from both sides of the divide both the old people think it's not really possible mm -hmm. and the young people think you're pretending yeah mm. so yeah so you guys are on our days. You don't even. <laughs> you guys went proper. You know. Yeah. Uh, it's it's an interesting journey, and it, having to work every day proving that actually you're a godly married, yeah. a, a godly married right. couple. I think now that's where now the work has to. Your lifestyle has to show that you're yeah. actually godly. That's where mm -hmm. now you're testifying. They know, actually, what he says is true. Yeah. 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 And can I ask? So when we say young, mm. like, <laughs> how how young <laughs> are you guys? <laughs> Because, you know, some people will be like, ah, nah. Yeah. Like, about how, you, you don't have to give us your exact mm -hmm. ages, but are you below 30? Are you below 25? <laughs> um, I don't know. Well, I'm, I'm old enough to be a parent. Okay. Ah. But I'm but not, you know you can I'm be not old enough you know to be a parent. Yeah, at 19. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for me, I'm 30. Yeah, yeah. for okay. me, I'm 28. Okay, yeah. yes. okay. So, you're, you're a young couple. Yeah. And how long have you been married? Uh, actually, we just got to our third year last month. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So three years of three wonderful years. marriage. Oh, good for you. <laughs> good for you, Curtis. She's <laughs> saying that with a smile. Yes. Because <laughs> <laughs> the cameras are. Oh no, I'm not. I'm not trying to say the truth. <laughs> All right. So let's let's learn a bit about yourselves and about your story. Where did you guys meet? Um, how did you come together? You know, what was that about? 
Uh, would you prefer her version or my version? Oh gosh, yeah, there's always a version. <laughs> so Kunele are public. Kuna, Even actually have our versions. Then there's the one yeah. that you've synthesized there's, and yeah. you say. Yeah. Yeah. Now the common there's, ground. There's yeah. her version and then there's the truth. <laughs> 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 but the truth is that okay. we both met in Daystar. Okay. I was in my first year, my first semester. He was in his last semester. semester. So we just shared a semester in university. Okay. And I think he has just worked out of a certain relationship as well as for me. And mm. then when we, we met at a concert I remember when you now started talking was at a concert when international hip-hop artists had came o they came over to Kenya and then you we went to the concert as university students mm. I remember I went with my friend she left me and then Katy saw me because he had noticed me earlier on in school okay. but I hadn't he hadn't talked to me and I hadn't I also noticed him before he noticed me so in different occasions, so I had noticed him, he did notice me. And then on that particular day of the concert, when he came to me to say, oh, I see you're lonely, do you want to come and sit with us? I was like, oh, yeah. So it was easy for me to say yes, because <laughs> I had noticed him earlier. Okay. So yeah, that's how we started off the conversation. Okay. Yeah. And how was your dating experience then? <coughs> or, but even actually before mm -hmm. we get there, for you now, you've seen this beautiful lady. Mm. Um, I don't know if your hair was on. She's like, oh, naturalista. <laughs> oh, oh, girls. No. <laughs> Anyway, I don't know what Brains, you saw, but I mean, on. of course she's a beautiful woman. <laughs> Thank you. But I mean, even just the process of approaching her, mm. because again, that's something a lot of young men, particularly also trying to have godly relationships, yeah. can really struggle in. Like, yeah. so before even the marriage, yeah. Yeah. there's the question of how do you even date yeah. you <laughs> in start? a godly way? How yeah. do you start? Uh, well, for me, I was coming from a past relationship that didn't end so well. So there was those issues that I was dealing with. Mm -hmm. And it's about the same time that I met with her. So I was quite jittery because I felt like eh, I'm not sure that I'm really ready to get into another one. Because I was trying to avoid the whole rebound situation. Mm -hmm. So I took it really slow. But I think what helped is that was the time when I was really beginning to take my relationship with God quite seriously. Okay. So it informed a lot of decisions that I was making at that time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and for you, like... You know what was your sort of frame <coughs> of mind you know there's a lot of pressure to be dating yes to yes. be in a relationship to yes. have that dude who you're like <laughs> we are 2K and you're like, like you know what i mean like there's a lot of yeah <laughs> for me having coming back coming 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 from a religious background so for me values were at the top of my mind I mean, you have to be a godly man. You have to lead me spiritually. Imagine I was thinking of those things in first year of, mm -hmm. of, of college. And I remember even walking out of the relationship that I was in, it's because we didn't understand each other mm -hmm. when it comes spiritually. On mm -hmm. value basis, we didn't understand each other. So I decided, ah, ah, where were you stay by yourself, me, I'm going to walk away on this one. Mm -hmm. So by the time I was meeting him and then him just telling me that he's starting to understand the godly way of doing things, mm -hmm. I think that's where now we click. I'm like, oh, this is a man that I can walk with. Mm -hmm. This is a guy that I can have a relationship with because, I mean, his heart was in the right place. Yeah. yeah. And how was the dating process? There's a lot of pressures that come through as well, um, <coughs> even from our peers, yes. right? Uh, a lot of like noses in your business, mm -hmm. a lot of like comparisons of how comes you're not doing things this other way, mm -hmm. temptations too. Like yeah. there's all sorts of different things yeah. that can come through. But you know, when you're trying to walk towards a godly marriage, yeah. it's so important to start right yeah. and to do it right throughout the process. Yeah. Are there any sort of nuggets you could share with us concerning that? Uh, for me, I was privileged to have friends who are like-minded. Mm -hmm. So they would always talk to me when they see I'm going off in one way or another. Uh, I was surrounded by a community of people who are, uh, I would call them quite sober when mm -hmm. it comes to relationships. <laughs> so the accountability factor was really in there. Mm. So for me, that really helped because mm -hmm. there are people who they are not afraid to call me out mm -hmm. whenever they see me doing something mm -hmm. that is not really right. Yeah. 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 For, for me, I started out with, I mean, we are all first years. We're all trying to figure out college life. We're also trying to figure out this relationship thing. And then I think I was also privileged by meeting him and then I became friends with his friends. So it was also easy for us to work really an open uh, kind of relationship mm -hmm. where there's the accountability aspect of us saying, oh, this is what we are going through or how do we go about this particular issue? Mm -hmm. So I think just having the accountability friends that were there in our lives was a bit easy for us to date and also the privilege of, privilege of being in a spiritual community mm -hmm. where everybody I don't say it was in your business, but they were there for you. Yeah. So it's not like we're just in our own island ourselves doing our own relationship. We had people around us who had worked before us and they okay. were willing to work with us. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You've raised this thing, accountability. Yeah. And 
very important like in every aspect of life really even just yesterday as far as career was concerned mm. we were talking about accountability um but when it comes to a relationship for accountability to work i guess you have to be you have to allow yourself yeah. to be that vulnerable yeah. you have to allow that person to really know like the, yeah. the, the yeah. truth Fortunately. right yeah. now yes. that <laughs> other version <Yeah>. of <laughs> yes. they have to be able to come in and you know mm. how is that because Again, as we've said, you know, relationships have a lot of different struggles and mm. challenges. Yeah. Was that ever like an issue? Um, were there things that you'd feel really nervous talking to your accountability partners about? How, how much space, I guess, did mm. you give them mm. to step into your relationship? Uh, ladies first. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's thinking of the answer. <laughs> uh, I think, first of all, whom you're accountable to. You have to have a level of trust with each other. I know I can be vulnerable to you and you're going to cover me. It's mm -hmm. about covering. Mm -hmm. I won't tell you about my issue, then I go spread it to other people. Yeah. So I think that was the first point of just establishing our accountability partners. Mm -hmm. And I I think for us, it was our spiritual leader when we started because I mean, this is a pastor. Mm -hmm. We. You've dealt with so many young people who go through so many issues. There's nothing new under the sun. Yeah. So if I come and tell you things, I mean, you're more open to helping me. It's not about you condemning me. And I think that's the first thing that we experienced when we went to our pastor. Because I remember when he started dating, he had to tell us, what has God said? Why are you guys dating? What's mm -hmm. the purpose for your dating? Mm -hmm. And that question threw me off. I'm like, oh, wow, you're, you're now coming into my, my business. <laughs> but surely it was an important question to answer yeah. so after answering that question and also having challenges uh, bringing challenges i mean he grew up a, a, in a different way i grew up in a different way mm -hmm. i mean values he's still growing up spiritually i'm also growing up spiritually the things we don't understand is kissing a problem you mm -hmm. know mm -hmm. is it allowed just having this question answered by your pastor was was quite interesting for us and easy yeah. i mean after you you know you don't just go deep in the first day you meet yeah you start with the on the shows and then mm. i can go deep and i understand how this person responds to questions mm. yeah. and from there now you are more open and more vulnerable oh, with right. the issues that you experience all yeah. right it's a all progressive right. relationship yeah, yeah. absolutely yeah. You, you constantly keep growing yeah, yeah. well let's talk <coughs> about now getting married curtis one yeah. day you come leon i'm going to ask her to be my wife. Mm. I'm assuming that's what happened. Emma, you went on your knees, my dear. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, no. Yeah. But, you know, this day came. Mm -hmm. This was after how long of dating for you guys? Uh, we had dated for around four years. Yes. Four years. Yes. Okay. okay. So you yeah, guys have been together a while. Yes, yeah. yes. So when you were, you know, as a young man, because mm -hmm. again, we've seen commitment is becoming a huge issue for mm. a lot of guys. A lot of guys don't want to commit. Yeah. So we're seeing, Sudri, can we stay? Sudri, where can But I'll still be your sponsor. All mm. sorts of weird situations yeah. happening. <laughs> like, I'm just being frank. <laughs> and so, you know, what was it for you that sort of clicked in your head mm. um, that this is it like mm. and you want to do this mm. and you're willing to to give this a chance because even for us when we were getting married we were told you know you think you know a person mm. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. Yeah. marriage that's yeah. when you really discover a person <laughs> and so you know it's a point you you pause and you reflect yeah. so for you getting ready to ask this woman to mm. marry you what was that process and, and I, I really want you to encourage young men mm. today who are so scared mm. of commitment mm. very briefly as we get ready to take a break <coughs> Uh, you have to be ready to answer the why question. Mm -hmm. She mentioned purpose. I think a lot of people, we get married because, you know, it's a rite of passage. People get married, so let's get married. Mm. But there has to come to a place where you really have to answer why exactly are you getting married? Why exactly are you getting married to this person and not any other person? Mm. And that's not something that you'll necessarily just make a prayer and the next day you wake up and the answer is there. Yeah. Yeah. It's a journey you take. As you relate to this person, God keeps opening your eyes to see sure. the reasons why this person is somebody you'd like to do life with. Yeah. So for me, the answering the purpose question was really important. Uh, the, the journey helped. And uh, I, was, I was really... I, I, I had the desire to do it right, yeah. you know, because just being brought up in the whole uh, church setting and all that, what she's saying. And I really wanted to do this in a way that I believed pleased God. Yeah. So for me, that was at the core of my heart. Okay. I wanted to do it right. All and right. that informed every other decision that I made. So I know yeah. they shouldn't be scared of commitment. They shouldn't be scared. <laughs> I don't know why people are scared of commitment. <laughs> you I tell really us more when you come back <laughs> from this. Do we scare break. you guys? <laughs> I, I don't, if you're scared, 
don't ever make a decision when there's fear because yeah. yeah. that fear is an indicator that something is off. Is off. Okay, yeah. okay, that's a good point right there. Yeah. All right, we're going to continue this discussion with Soila and Curtis uh, when we come back. Of course, your comments, I can see them starting to come in. Mm. Uh, questions for them. And uh, when we come back now, we want to dive into like marriage, like the good stuff. We want to hear about how they've actually handled this. You know, does Curtis just to buy his socks all over the place? And, you know, just dealing with like, you know, understanding this completely new personality that you're dealing with. And some of the different challenges and how to overcome them. I love how Soila is laughing about this. Uh, but this is much more when we come back from this break. Double two, triple nine is the SMS sign. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Welcome guys to Full Circle with Joyce Aki Najibamba Apa na Curtis Nasoila <laughs> and this amazing crew. <laughs> hey Maze. Full circle with Joyce to go strong, to go strong. <laughs> but uh, thank you both again for being here. Thank you for your sharing your journey with thank us. You. Lots of people being encouraged by it. Soila and Curtis look amazing together, loving the show. Oh. Someone else here says, good morning, Joyce. I'm Caroline, tuned in from Juja. That couple looks good together despite them being young. Absolutely, they certainly do. You can also comment on our Facebook page. Um, at Switch TV Kenya on Facebook and Twitter, uh, and at Switch TV KE on Instagram. Uh, Selassie Mpenda Regis says, interesting and blessed couple. And then there's a guy here, his Facebook, his Facebook name is Nashuku Niwewe. <laughs> <laughs> Mazi, I love his good names. Anyway, Nashuku Niwewe, Pia and Nashuku Marriage, because he's asking why marriage? marriage. <laughs> Which is a valid question, you know, because we yeah. were talking earlier about it seems like a lot of people can find whatever they're looking for yeah. outside of formalizing that covenant and formalizing that commitment to one another. So Soila, at least mm -hmm. uh, Curtis has already shared his, his, his side of the story with us. But for you even, you know, beyond like putting aside the pressure for people to get married and to say that they have a spouse and whatnot you know why choose marriage at the end of the day and why choose to commit and be faithful to that particular union because again we're seeing so many people stepping outside of their marriages uh, you're a young girl either sponsors or whatever it is that they're looking for out there you know why marriage for you wow that's 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 one of the most broad question yet difficult question to answer I mean different people have different answers but for me I normally go back to the institutor I don't know that's the word mm -hmm, the marriage mm -hmm. itself God is the institutor of marriage mm -hmm. he's the one who created it so he has a reason for marriage and there was this particular thing I was watching and this guy just illustrated marriage when God said that marriage is should replicate himself here on earth and he said let's create man in our own image yeah and then I mean it's three in one and then marriage, you have a man, a woman, and the Holy Spirit of God himself. Mm -hmm. It's still a replica of uh, who God is. Mm -hmm. I think wh why marriage is definitely to, there's so many reasons of why, to, why people get married. One is definitely to bring uh, forward righteous offsprings mm -hmm. in the world. I mean, it's just for God replicating himself in the world mm -hmm. in a more righteous way. The image of God to be more available to people here on earth mm -hmm. uh, when people walk out of the institution of marriage or when people decide to have the come we stay aspect of things and not do it the godly way yeah. i want to say that if you do it with god as your witness then there's a blessing god blesses that institution mm -hmm. if you do it out of god we, we talk with cutting and normally say people thrive on common grace mm -hmm. but their levels of intimacy, there are levels of blessings that people who are married in Christ walk mm. in, that people who are not married in Christ do not walk in. Yes, there are levels on. of purpose you access as a married couple. Well done. <laughs> there are levels of, <laughs> there are levels of <laughs> blessings and yeah. purpose you accomplish as a married couple in God that people who are not married in Christ do yeah. not accomplish. So come we stay is not a marriage. Mm. It's, it's something, I know the government recognizes it as a marriage in six months, mm. but what does God say? Yeah. He's the creator of marriage. What does he say about marriage? Yeah, I mean, yeah. we always have to go back to to God, the initiator of this institution. It's his. You have mm -hmm. to do it his way. Mm -hmm. Follow his manual. You Come don't on. buy a fridge and, and, and start saying, so how do I? You have to read the manual. Come how on. does this fridge work? You know, you just don't buy it. I love how Curtis is sitting there in the corner. So proud. Like, <laughs> that's my wife. It's my hair. No. I should sit like no. this. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god, I love Soila. Like you're just <laughs> Curtis, you're so quiet. Kuna ukumbe wewe ni mpole. I'm surprised. Cuz it kumbe you listen to me. You know when when, when we are having this conversation. Curtis. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes she acts like uh, I'm boring her or I'm talking too much. Kumbe <laughs> No, I'm excuse her. It's, it's okay. Hata oh. na sound can he head with women's ministry hey. na Ali Sam yatakuwa na conference. Women's <laughs> conference lazima ukwe kwa stage. Nite. <laughs> <laughs> no, but very well done guys and, and that's very encouraging to hear. And let's talk now like about marriage, right? So you guys were very young. Pretty young. Okay, let me not say very. Young. Pretty young when you got married. Yeah. Um mid 20s yeah. uh when you were getting married there's a lot to adjust mm. to right mm. now you're responsible over Gosh. someone else yeah. financially socially spiritually um emotionally emotionally mm. intimately <coughs> everything you're now responsible over someone else yeah. how was that transition now from dating into marriage <laughs> hey, it was a huge change because for me i grew up in a setting where i was the only child mm. So that comes with its own you're used to your space. Yes, you're used to your space. <laughs> you're used to your your own little things there. Yeah. And then now you get married and you don't just do things with yourself in mind. <laughs> now you have to be considering somebody else. Yeah. And that was quite an adjustment and you know you can you can want to change in your mind but the experience is a totally different thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we had a few challenges here and there, but I think I was open to always being corrected that hey, you are missing a point. Okay. Yeah, and there. Okay. So for me, that's what helped the willingness to learn and change. Yeah. But the challenges were real. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what about you? Were you ready to be a wife? <coughs> like, I mean, you now have to take care of a home with someone else. It's not just your own space. Oh like God. these expectations for like dinner yeah. and cooking and cleaning this place and being put together. <laughs> like, there's a lot about all that. <laughs> <laughs> I was excited when I got engaged. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh my goodness, I want to be a wife. And then I got married, and I'm like goodness what did i just get myself into <laughs> oh my god the society is not looking at me yeah if he doesn't know that they're yeah. like so you're not feeding your husband yeah 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 <laughs> i was like oh god it was i was actually terrified i must say that that many times i questioned my capability as a wife mm -hmm. but i still go back and i'm like oh god so like you you've never done this before i mean he came in fresh has never been married before i've never been married before we are starting this afresh we are starting our own culture yeah, yeah. so i shouldn't be so hard on myself yeah. or be hard on him to perform certain things that we've seen in movies yeah. or in our friends' uh, marriages. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If anything, I, I, I extended more grace, <clears throat> but initially it was one of the toughest adjustment as that commitment to adjusting was, 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 was a tough thing to do. Yeah. I mean, how to, to do, to uh, we just talked about socks, man. Socks, mm -hmm. how to, where to put socks, how, how, <laughs> who folds clothes, who irons clothes, yeah. those things. I mean, him being a sing there's a way he grew up and there's a I grew up with four siblings. Okay. So, so as we used yes, to, yeah. As the way we used to do things, I do it today, tomorrow you do it. Mm -hmm. I remember the first week of uh, the second week or third week of marriage, mm -hmm. I had cooked the entire week. I mean I'm just married from honeymoon. Yeah. I have to show myself as a good yeah. wife. Cooked and then the following I'm like I just sat down this particular day he comes from work. It's eight and like what are we having for dinner? I'm like, I cooked yesterday. What do you mean what are we having for dinner? <laughs> you go to the kitchen <laughs> <laughs> oh, you expect to give it like your turn like, I've now. been doing it for the longest time now. I, I did it because we were during our honeymoon. I'm the one who's showing myself <laughs> as a good wife. And now I'm tired. I'm like, it's three weeks. I'm, I'm done. I can't cook every day. <laughs> <laughs> we have to find the working way. So Interesting. Yeah, well, let me read some of the feedback that we have coming <laughs> uh, in. Full circle with Joyce. The couple are looking good together, enjoying the show. Uh, BT from Mombasa, Congo. You say the couple are so wow. They are so inspiring, <laughs> actually. Uh, good morning, Joyce. You guys look so nice. Thanks so much for bringing my favorite couple Aww. on the show. God bless you guys. Someone here says, love the couple. Are they born again? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are. Yes, they are. You, you can't even shout out your church now. Yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, our church is called Infinite Fellowship Ministries. Yeah. Yes, it's... Uh, it's located at Kivi Milimani. All town. right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, someone here says, good morning, Joyce. I'm, sh I'm loving the show. And I want to ask the couple, when it comes to dating and purity, because I have friends who are in the dating world and they found themselves compromising on it. How did they overcome that? Thank you. All right. Is that maybe hopefully you guys can mm. sort of give mm. some guidance on that question. Okay. Yeah. Dating uh, and purity. Yeah. Again, the why question. Mm hmm. Uh, if, if you're dating and you're anticipating marriage, celibacy is one of the best things you can do mm -hmm. for, for, for the union. Because yeah. the kind of connection that sex brings 
into a relationship is really weighty. Mm -hmm. And sex is one of those things that touch on your emotions, they touch on your psychology, they touch on your spiritual life. Mm -hmm. So when you bring sex too early into the relationship and you've not taken time to build the foundation spiritually, mm -hmm. emotionally and psychologically, the weight of sex will sort of not have it will be too much for the foundation to handle. Because yeah. you didn't take time to build the foundation before introducing the sex. Yeah. So you, you'll find yourself fighting about things that you really shouldn't be fighting about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Challenges that you really shouldn't be having. Yeah. So the, celib the celibacy process is something, you're not denying, you're not, it's, it's, you're not wasting it. Yes. Yes, you are building a foundation before you get there. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Um, here on uh, Facebook again, I have Carol Alma who says, Joyce, you look great. And those two are goals. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. Uh, Mercy Ogola, you say, Joyce, say hi to the couple. I really admire them. I also wish I'd find my soulmate, you say, and you're tuned in from Utawala. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Vienna Pal, and this is a question then, you know, back to the question about finances. You guys got married very young. There's a question then of, you know, can we afford a huge, massive wedding? Yeah. Vienna Pal says, I really love this couple. My question is, I'm 24, my boyfriend is 27. We're planning to get married, but is getting married through court right due to finances as long as families are involved? Because for us, the wedding might be expensive. Please advise. And I don't know if that sort of came up with your families, yeah. if they were worried, you know, can you guys actually yeah. handle this? Yeah. You've just finished yeah. college what are you thinking yeah. you know <laughs> and now to not only have a wedding but yeah. then take care of yourselves yeah. after that any sort of counsel you could share with Vienna Pal here yeah. um, we normally say do not break the bank for, for your wedding yeah a court wedding is fine it's, it's okay to go to the court and still get God will bless it because he knows your heart in as far as the marriage is concerned uh, you don't even have to, to go to the court I mean if your pastor is willing yeah. why not you the two of you meet even in his living room yeah. and have the wedding you don't have to have tents since so we have all these paraphernalia mm -hmm. I mean it's all about you and your and, and your spouse or your partner mm -hmm. uh, don't go the extra mile to please the society mm -hmm. by by the marriage or what you're going to invest in mm -hmm. you'd rather I remember been having this conversation I don't know if I told my sisters or my parents like I, I don't want you guys even when it comes to diary I'm like don't ask for too much mm -hmm. so that you know I'm the one who's going to get married to him I don't want to go and have ugali and salt because it's paid all he had <laughs> to you guys <laughs> <laughs> you guys, uh -huh. let's be reasonable. When yeah. I think I was having this conversation <laughs> with my mom. Just you guys be, be very lenient yeah. <laughs> when it comes to this thing. I mean, yeah. I was satiring this guy. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Because <laughs> that's where I'm going. Yeah, you know? at the end of the day, you live and yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. So if a wedding is going to take away from you, you'd rather put the money in your bank, go have a small, you remember that 100 bob wedding? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wonderful. Absolutely. I'm like, that's good. It's Absolutely. the intentionality and the motive of the couple. Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, Curtis and Soila, <laughs> what a pleasure it's been to have you on the show. Mr. and Mrs. Romalo, Asante you. Sana for your time. Thank you. I've really enjoyed chatting oh, with God. you both. <laughs> Likewise. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you guys for all of your feedback uh, to them. And of course, right now we're getting ready for our final discussion of the day. We're going to be talking about relationship do's and don'ts. Benjamin Zulu is in studio and he'll be joining me shortly. Stay tuned.